Hey friends, have you ever wondered how the internet, television and telephone signals are transmitted across the world? How do we communicate with each other using light? And how does this all started? The answer lies in a technology called fiber optics, which uses thin strands of glass or plastic to carry information as pulses of light. And the person who made this possible was Dr. Narinda Singh Kapani, an Indian-American physicist and entrepreneur who is widely known as the father of fiber optics. In this video, we will explore his life, achievements and legacy. India has seen several geniuses who became popular for their discoveries and work. However, many such people achieved much in life but still couldn't get credit for their work. One such person was Narinda Singh Kapani, who was best known for his work on fiber optics. It was due to his path-breaking invention of fiber optics that the world today enjoys. High-speed communication and medical procedures such as endoscopy and laser surgeries. Dr. Kapani was born on October 31, 1926, in Moga, Punjab, India, to Sundar Singh and Kundan Kaur. He completed his schooling in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. He graduated from Agra University. The Indian genius served as an Indian Ordnance Factory service officer. In the late 1940s, Kapani challenged conventional science when he questioned the concept that light only travels in straight lines. He then went to Imperial College London in 1952 to work on a PhD degree in optics from the University of London. Dr. Kapani moved to the United States in 1955 and continued his work on fiber optics and other applications of light. Up until that point, traditional communication relied on copper wires, but they were having issues like reliability and high cost. In practical, the major problem at this time was that the endoscopes doctors used to look inside people didn't produce great images, and the instruments were rigid, which was not ideal for, like, moving around inside a body. But Kapani and Hopkins had an idea for a new tool that would be flexible and produce much sharper images. They later called it a fiberscope. Earlier, all this was tried to troubleshoot by a German medical student, Heinrich Lamm. He produced a crude, coherent bundle in the 1930s of perhaps 400 fibers. Many of the fibers were misaligned and it lacked proper imaging optics. It also suffered from leakage where adjacent fibers touched, which further degraded the image. To produce a useful image, the bundle would need to contain not a few hundred, but tens of thousands of fibers, all correctly aligned. In the early 1950s, Hopkins devised a way to accomplish this jointly with Dr. Kapani. They mastered the concept of fiberscope over the course of time and said, if a bundle of fibers could be arranged such that their ends were in matching positions at either end, then focusing an image on one end of the bundle would produce a pixelated version at the far end which could be viewed via an eyepiece or captured by a camera. They demonstrated this by projecting a slide of a Maltese cross through a fiber bundle and onto a screen. This was the first time that fiber optics was used for image transmission, and it opened up a new field of possibilities for communication, medicine, and science. Now at this point, the technology was still only reliable across short distances. But in the 60s, apart from the Kapanese research, another physicist, Charles Cow, found a way for making fiber optic cables reliable over long distances and overcame the losses in the glass. He realized that losses came from impurities in the glass, not the glass itself. By making purer glass, he successfully reduced those losses. Kao also discovered that adding impurities called dopants could improve results by changing the speed of light in the glass, affecting how the beam spreads out. This revelation set off a race to create the purest glass fibers and the best dopants. In 1970, an American team achieved a major breakthrough with silica fibers doped with titanium, drastically reducing losses. Finally, light could travel down long fibers and a sharp signal emerged on the other end. All this could be achieved by groundbreaking joint research of Kapani and Hopkins. But in 2009, Charles Cow received half of the Nobel Prize in Physics for his contribution to the Internet. However, it's essential to note that Dr. Narinda Singh Kapani, despite not receiving widespread recognition, played a crucial role in making all of this possible. His early work, figuring out how to send light ricocheting down glass tubes, 
laid the foundations for the information age. In fact, Mr. Kapani founded Optics Technology Inc. in 1960, which was the first company to manufacture fiber optic cables and devices. He also coined the term fiber optics in an article for Scientific American in 1960. He later founded Captron Inc. in 1973, which specialized in fiber optic communication systems and sensors. He also worked as a consultant, professor and researcher at various universities and institutions and received over 100 patents for his inventions. He was also offered the post of scientific advisor to the Defence Minister of India by the first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru. He became the first Indian Sikh to take a company public in Silicon Valley. Dr. Kapani was not only a brilliant scientist and entrepreneur but also a philanthropist and an art lover. He donated millions of dollars to various educational and cultural institutions such as the University of California, the Asian Art Museum and the Smithsonian Museum. Dr. Narinder Singh Kapani was a visionary and a trailblazer who changed the world with his invention of fiber optics. He passed away on December 4, 2020 at the age of 94, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and inspiration. He was honored with many awards and recognitions, including the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award, in 2021. He was also named one of the seven unsung heroes of the 20th century by Fortune magazine. Dr. Kapani once said, every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest lion, or it will be killed. Every morning, a lion wakes up. It knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle, or it will starve to death. It doesn't matter if you are a lion or gazelle. When the sun comes up, you'd better be running. He lived by this motto and never stopped running towards his goals and dreams. Dr. Kapani's life story is full of learning lessons for anyone who wants to pursue their passion, innovate, and make a positive impact on the world. Here are some of the lessons that we can learn from his inspirational life. 1. Be curious and question the status quo. Dr. Kapani was always fascinated by light and nature, and he challenged the conventional wisdom that light can only travel in straight lines. He experimented with different ways of bending and transmitting light through fibers and eventually invented fiber optics, which revolutionized communication, medicine, and science. 2. Be versatile and adaptable. Dr. Kapani was not only a scientist, but also an entrepreneur, a farmer, a philanthropist, and an art collector. He applied his knowledge and skills in various fields and domains and created value for himself and others. He also adapted to different cultures and environments, living and working in India, the UK and the USA. 3. Be generous and proud of your heritage. Dr. Kapani was a generous donor and a passionate promoter of Sikh art and culture. He created the Sikh Foundation in 1967, which supported Sikh studies, art and education around the world. He also donated millions of dollars to various institutions and causes and amassed a large collection of Sikh art, which he exhibited and published in several books and magazines. 4. Be persistent and optimistic. Dr. Kapani faced many challenges and obstacles in his life, such as the partition of India, the bureaucratic hurdles, the competition from other inventors, and the lack of recognition for his work. He never gave up on his goals and dreams, and always maintained a positive outlook. He once said, I have always been an optimist. I believe that there is a bright side to everything, and if we look hard enough, we will find it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you could learn something new and interesting about Dr. Kapani and his amazing contributions to humanity. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Learn With Unknown for more videos like this. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think about Dr. Kapani and his work. Have a great day and see you next time.